Hello everyone, welcome to another C++ uh, programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, C++ Reverse Iterator. And uh, C++ Standard Reverse Iterator is an iterator adapter that reverses the direction of a given iterator. In other words, when provided with a bidirectional iterator, Standard Reverse Iterator produces a new iterator that moves from the end to the beginning of the sequence defined by the underlying bidirectional iterator reference c++ reference.com lesson i will demonstrate to you how to use reverse iterator with a vector of struct so let's go into eclipse and demonstrate to you how we can use reverse iterator so first off i'm going to declare include io stream for standard input output include vector for creating our dynamic array then declaring using namespace standard okay so first off I'm going to create um, a structure so the structure I call it local stack and it will consist of, of a couple of um, member variables so first off string um, we call function name and string var name to store my variable. Then I'm going to create a overloaded operator. So uh, I'm going to say bool operator equal to constant lo sorry constant local stack. Ampersand M constant and I'm gonna return I'm gonna do a comparison <coughs> um, of a M function name equal to function name and M variable name equal to variable name okay so I need quotes around these two okay so essentially uh, this is going to help me iterate to um, a vector when um, and then basically do a comparison to see if my variable has already declared um, inside a, a function. So that's what the purpose of this uh, overloaded operator. Okay, I'll show you how this will be used later. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to declare vector local stack local function. Okay. <clears throat> Then I'll go ahead and create another um, function. So um, I'm going to call this void at function variable, and I'm going to pass in the function name and the function variable. Okay, and I'm going to declare a couple of um, Variable so local stack, which is my structure I declare up here. Local stack match and um, and var. var. Okay. So I'm gonna say uh, var function name equal equal to the function um, variable. That we pass in and var um, uh, var name equal to string var. Okay, then we're gonna create match function name equal to vt. I'm sorry, var function name match var name equal to 
var var name. Okay. Then I'm going to create a reverse iterator. So I'm going to say standard vector uh, local stack. Okay. And I'm going to call this reverse iterator it equal and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and I'm gonna do a fine basically so I'm gonna do fine uh, local F reverse iterator so reverse the beginning uh, local F reverse n and I'm gonna pass in my match okay instance here of local stack okay and if uh, I reach the beginning I'm sorry if I reach the end then I know that uh, I cannot find the the function name or the variable name so if it equal to local f uh, reverse n okay if it reaches the end then we know that uh, it's not available in the vector so I can say C out I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, function name equal to string function and the variable name equal to string var and line then I'll do uh, local F pushback on the um, the uh, var, which is the instance of, of local stack. Okay, so that completes the the add uh, func variable, and I'll basically de declare the uh, the prototype above here. Okay. And then in my main function, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, demonstrate to you. Okay, I'm going to call at function variable. So we're going to say at function. Let's say um, I have function a, right? And I want to add I want to check to see if uh, a ver variable uh, B exists in function a then I'll go ahead and add again uh, function a uh, variable C and I'll go ahead and add function a variable D and the last thing here, I'll basically try to add again the same variable, b. So let's uh, save this program and compile the code. Okay, let's open a terminal. And do a clear first. And um, execute our program and as you can see um, the first time we we call add func variable function a and variable b doesn't exist so it, it actually added here so it actually call um, uh, it actually reached this code here and it actually add um, our function name and variable and it calls C okay function a variable C and variable C did not exist so it actually added same thing with function a and variable D okay it did not exist so it actually uh, calls this now when it comes to back to function a and B it already exists so um, it doesn't call um, 
it doesn't reach th this code at all. So that's how we can use um, reverse iterator to look up something out in a vector. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial on how you can use reverse iterator to look up uh, something that exists in a vector. And if you like uh, this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.